Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. I have got a short video today that will demonstrate for you how to add a head on Wix. Okay, so a lot of the templates that you'd normally use to build a website on Wix do come accompanied with a header. Um, if you scroll up to the top of your page and there's an orange box there, that means that is the header. However, if for whatever reason your website hasn't got one, maybe you started from a blank template or used one that doesn't have a header by default, and this is how to add one to your website. Okay, so it's done per page. Um, if you go to the pages and menu op uh, option on the left hand toolbar, which is the green one there, on the page that you want to add a header to, you'll single click it and then you'll see on when you hover over the right hand corner of it these three little dots here when you click those three little dots they give you the options for that page on your website and then you want to go into the settings option the first one on the list here once you've gotten there you'll see that you've got some information here in a dialog box and then some tabs at the top so if you click on the layout tab there is where you can add or remove headers and footers from your website so um as I said, if you click on the standard one at the top, like that, you can now see that a header and a footer has appeared on this page on my site. Um, like I said, if your pages on your website haven't got that, then you'll need to do that per page. Um, however, when you usually make a website, they, they normally come you know, with headers in the templates at least. So if I collapse that now and close that, you can see that I've got my header here in place. It's denoted as a header and a footer because, as I said earlier, when you hover over it, it appears in an orange uh, colour. And then the settings and the boxes, uh, the dialogue boxes that appear within it are orange as well. So we can adjust the height of the header there by single left clicking and dragging it up and down. Um, and then when you give the header a single click, you get access then to the settings for that. So you can change the design of it a little bit, choose some different uh, backgrounds, choose from some templates there. Um, they're kind of the preset looks that you can go for and then if you close that um, I've currently got mine to, for no colors just so you can see through it, you know If you then click on the settings for header scroll settings the little cog there You get to decide um, how the header behaves So whether it fades out as the user scrolls down whether it disappears and kind of sticks to the top of the page Whether it freezes in place so your user can see the header permanently no matter where they are on the page or whether it scrolls with the website. So it kind of essentially becomes part of the page then, okay? So if it's got a menu, maybe the page is really long and you don't want to have to make the user navigate all the way back to the top of the page for whatever reason, then you could maybe select the freeze option and have it just frozen at the top of the screen. That concludes our video tutorial. If you need professional one-on-one -on -one custom support from Wix experts, then click the link in the description below. Even if you need a complete rebuild or redesign of your site, the support team of Wix web developers is here to help you. If you find this video useful, then please make sure to like and subscribe for more website tutorials, as well as comment below if you have any video requests for future videos. Thanks.